And in this video, I want to challenge your thinking on why you should upgrade your travel. And I'm going to give you four major reasons on how we use it, why I think about it. So the first major reason why I, I no longer travel as cheaply as possible, which is my old mindset when I was a teacher and I, and I didn't think about the benefits of, of traveling more expensively, is number one is leverage. So take the train. I go to London every single month uh, from Newcastle upon Tyne. So it's a three hour journey, yeah? So think about you right now. If you have a quiet place where you can focus and you've got space for your laptop, free Wi-Fi, uh, I, how, more, how much more productive would you be in that time space? So in those three hours, if you spent 40 or 50 pounds more for the travel, but you've actually done income generating tasks, which made you 50 or 60 pounds more, then for me, that's a no brainer because it's productive. Whereas sometimes when um, first class has been like 300, 400 pounds because I've done last minute and I've gone, you know what? Like the uh, standard class is 100. I spent the whole time being cramped, feeling the stress, there's babies crying, the, the, there's the lads having a, a stag do, there's people on the phones really loudly and all that stuff just makes me so stressed. I don't get anything done. So the return investment's worse. And so therefore, if I can get more done, I get better outcomes, better outcomes, better results for everybody in all the businesses and in for my team and for our tenants and for our education company. So that's one key thing. Second thing is network. So if you think about it, if you are looking for money, development, joint ventures, building your net worth via your network, then if you're hanging around in the cheapest possible seats, in the cheapest possible areas, uh, the conversations you're gonna have potentially is gonna be less beneficial than if you're in exec lounges, first class lounges, business class lounges. But when I'm in those lounges, I make conversation. So think about that for a second. If you're already in an environment where people um, are willing to spend more, or have the ability to spend more, and you're now communicating, could you then follow up? Could you then actually start building a network of high net worth investors, developers, people just like you who want to elevate their position? So for me, that has been beneficial. I've, I've brought new friends out of it. I've brought new investment opportunities from it and new development opportunities because in uh, fact, I'll, I will travel first class uh, to, to America. I will f travel business class. I will travel um, an elevated position more than I would have when I was a teacher or an employee because back then it was about saving money but now I invest that and as long as I'm making a good use of the time. So think about you right now. If you're in a good position and a good net area of people spending money and, and in an elevated network, are you the person who's, who's nervous in the corner, won't speak to anybody? Or do you think, I need to do this, I'm gonna push myself, I'm gonna stop communicating and following up. So my challenge to you is, think about it. Next time you're traveling, could you start chatting and telling people what you do? Now the third play, third reason why I also choose, chose three years ago is to always pay more for my travel is because I actually then get to experience an elevated lifestyle. So it always pushes me to um, build uh, the aspirations higher. So when I'm traveling first class, you, you get used to the nicer things. When I used to be a teacher, I, I was from a, um, a working class background. My, my dad was a teacher, my mom worked in the Inland Revenue. We had hardly any money. And so I didn't experience any of that. I, we didn't, I went, never went abroad with my family on holiday when I was a kid. So I'm telling you that because as I'm traveling, I'm experiencing stuff which I never did as a young person. And I'm, I'm like, but this is the lifestyle I like. This is the lifestyle I want. And it, it gives me the confidence to know that actually I can have it and so can you. Because maybe you're, you were like me back then and you thought it's, it's for other people, not me. And anybody can create more wealth. You know, everybody's born equal. And some people might have more money in the bank, but it's your choice whether you die poor, whether you die with no money, because that's the decision you make throughout your life. So for me, I'm making those decisions. I'm enjoying the lifestyles. I'm upgrading my cash flow, upgrading our wealth continuously, month by month, and we're choosing where we want to spend time, uh, that money. Now, the fourth thing, when I started out, I couldn't spend five grand on a flight, a, a category. I didn't have that cash flow. So maybe you're in that position right now, you think it's okay for you, Tom, because. So what I was doing was, when I was doing my, my even my refurbs, um, I, I was putting on a credit card, and then I was using um, air, air miles. So I was using Airbus points. I was using uh, American Express points. So if you go on Google right now and you search um, air miles, you could be doing your refurbs and then cash flowing them out, like which we teach in our boot camps, our three day boot camps, so make sure you come on it. And then using that system, we, you then crack up points. And then when you get a free flight to America, you get a free flight to Thailand. And then that enables you to upgrade the business class when you're paying standard. So you can just start using travel point systems to actually save up 
to then use and leverage um, a different additional benefits like that. There's so many opportunities out there, you just gotta have the open mind to say yes to it, rather than being, oh no, it's too much effort, I don't wanna go find out, or I don't wanna invest in education to, to understand how um, wealthy people actually save money by using all these tools like credit cards too. So I hope that's been of, of interest and insight into what, what I get up to in my traveling, but why I do it. So leverage, network, build your lifestyle, and step up and if you're only doing this purely for the selfie, then it's your pure ROI. But if you're doing it for you, for growth, then it's worth it. Have a go. So if you enjoyed this video, there's another one just right there about how you can use credit scores to get better deals using credit cards, travel points, and also we use that stuff to buy property too. So click that button there and it's going to give you the next video. My pleasure.